Hi viewers, in this video I am discussing section A of CBSC class 10 mathematics question paper. The set is set 1, code is 30 bar 5 bar 1. It is conducted on March 2024. In section A, there are 20 questions, each carries one mark. First question. The next fourth term of an AP, root 18, root 15, root 1, 9, 98 is, 18 is, root 18 is 3 into root 2 and root 15 is 5 into root 2, 7 into root 2. Therefore, the next term is 9 into root 2, 9 into root 2 is root of 162. The answer is C. Next one. Second question. If x by 3 is equal to 2 sin a, y by 3 is equal to 2 cos a, then the value of x squared plus y squared is. From the first term, find the value of x and the second term, find the value of y. Squaring x squared, squaring y squared, then we will get the value of x squared plus y squared is equal to 36. If 4 sec theta minus 5 is equal to 0, then the value of cot theta. We will get uh, sec theta is equal to 5 by 4. Using the Pythagoras theorem, we will get the Opposite side as 3. Therefore, cot theta is equal to 4 by 3. Question number 4. Which out of the following type of straight lines will be represented by the system of the equation 4x plus 3y is equal to 5 and 6x plus 8y is equal to 7? a1 by a2 is equal to 3 by 6. That is 1 by 2. 4 by 8 is equal to 1 by 2. And C1 by C2 is equal to 5 by 7. That means A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2. It is not is equal to C1 by C2. Therefore, the correct answer is parallel. Question number 5. The ratio of this sum and the product of the roots of the quadratic equation 5x squared minus 6x plus 21 is. Find the sum and then find the product. After that, find the ratio of sum and product. The answer will be 2 is to 7. Question number 6. The data 2, 9, x plus 6, 2x plus 3, 5, 10, 5. If the mean is 7, then the value of x is, the answer is 3. Here you can see there are 7 terms. The mean we can find by adding all these terms and dividing by 7. Then we will get a 3x is equal to 9, x is equal to 3. Question number 7. The ticket is drawn random. From two bikes containing tickets numbered 1 to 40, the probability of the selected ticket has a number which is a multiple of 7. The multiple of 7 between 1 and 40 are 7, 14, 21, 28 and 35. That means we will get 5 numbers. Therefore, the probability, record probability is 5 by 40. 40 is the total number of the outcome is 40. Therefore, the correct answer is 1 by 8. The perimeter of a sector of radius 21 centimeter, which is subtended angle 60 degree at the center of the circle. We have to find the perimeter. This sector perimeter we have to find. The radius is 21, 21. Perimeter is 21 plus 21 plus the length of the arc here. That is L is equal to theta by 360 into 2 pi r. Theta here it is 60. Therefore, 60 by 360 into 2 into pi into 12 plus 
radius 21 plus radius 21. The answer will be theta is equal to therefore the perimeter is equal to 64. 64 you will get by 42 21 plus 21 42. 42 plus the length of the arc is 22. The final answer is 64. 8. The length of the arc of a circle of radius 12 cm is 10 pi. The angle subtended by the arc at the center of the circle. We have to find the length of the arc. The formula for finding the length of the arc is equal to theta by 360 into 2 pi r. Given it is 10 pi, substituting the each values, then we will get theta is equal to 150 degree. Question number 10. The greatest number which is divisive, divide 281 and 1249, leaving the remainder 5 and 7 respectively. First find 251 minus 5, it is 276. 1249 minus 7, it is 1242. Find the LCM of these two numbers. The answer is 138. Question number 11. The number of terms of an AP 3, 6, 9, 12, etc. 111 is. The last term we know it is 111. A n is equal to A plus n minus 1 into D. A n is given 111. First term A is equal to 3. Common difference is 6 minus 3. It is 3. Substituting the each value. Say n we will get as 1011 by 3. It is equal to 37. The chord of a circle of radius 10 cm substitute a right angle at the center. The length of the code is, the radius is given 10 cm, 10 cm. Radius are same, therefore the triangle ABO is a right triangle and each angle is 45. Isosceles right triangle, therefore AB is equal to 10 root 2. Question number 13. The LCM of Three numbers, 28, 44, and 132 is 924. The product of two coprime numbers is 553. Then their HF. Since the two numbers are coprime, their HF is 1. 15. If alpha and beta are zeros of the polynomial, Px is equal to kx squared minus 30x plus 45k. Find alpha plus beta is equal to alpha beta then the value of k. In the question it is given that uh, alpha plus beta and uh, alpha beta are same. That means alpha plus beta sum of the roots is 30 by k and the product of the root is 45. Substituting and equating alpha plus beta is equal to alpha beta. We will get the value of k as 30 by 45. It is equal to 2 by 3. If a vertical pole of length 7.5 meter cast a shadow 5 meter along the ground and at the same time a tower cast a shadow of 24 meter long, then the height of the tower is 36 meter. Question number 19 and 20 are assertion and reason based question. Question number 19. ABCD is a trapezium with a DC parallel to AB. E and F are the points on AD and BC respectively such that EF is parallel to AB. Then AE by ED is equal to BF by FC. It is true. Reason. Any line parallel to parallel sides of a trapezium divides non-parallel sides proportionally. That is also true. 
therefore the correct answer is both assertion a and reason r are true and reason r is a correct explanation to the assertion a question number 20 the degree of a zero polynomial is not defined and the reason is degree of non zero constant polynomial is zero the answer is b both assertion a and reason r are true but the reason r is not correct explanation of assertion a thank you